This module provides a robust presentation of cash flow analysis. In addition to the highlighted topics, this session introduces the participants to and provides them an opportunity to explore and discuss such concepts and tools as definitions and applications of cash flow, cash flow analysis, and cash flow lending, role and importance of cash flow analysis, overview of the direct cash flow statements, mechanics for constructing the direct cash flow statements, protocols for analyzing the direct cash flow statements and integrating cash flow and ratio analysis, overview of the cash budget and the use and benefit of the cash budget. During this module, we focus on the benefits and use of the cash flow statement and the cash budget. However, before discussing cash flow analysis, we introduce and discuss the profitability trap concept, the importance of liquidity, and how the lack of liquidity, not profitability, drives a company to declare bankruptcy. The profitability trap occurs when financial performance or health is equated to profits. But consider the cash impact of an increase in inventory or an overinvestment in inventory, an increase in accounts receivable or slowing accounts receivable payments, an overinvestment in property, plant, and equipment, or investing in non-productive assets. Each of these transactions impact cash. Each transaction results in the use of cash. However, none of the transactions are reflected in the income statement. Since these transactions are not captured in the income statement, they do not impact profitability. Cash flow analysis is required to isolate and assess these and many other transactions that impact a company's cash position or liquidity. Cash flow analysis discloses how a company generates cash, cash inflow, and how a company uses cash, cash outflows. A company's profitability is important for investors evaluating investment alternatives. However, liquidity is equally as important for investors. From the lender's perspective, liquidity is more important than profitability. Cash flow analysis enables the lender to avoid the profitability trap because they are able to determine if the company is taking in enough cash to meet its cash obligations, which is the most fundamental indicator of adequate liquidity. It is important to understand that companies go bankrupt because they are unable to make the cash payments as bills become due, not because they are unprofitable. There are different definitions or terms to describe cash flow. For an example, EBIT, EBITDA, and free cash flow. Each of these terms are used to measure cash generation and ability to repay, as well as to assess investment alternatives. It is important to note, however, that apart from free cash flow, these terms reference earnings, which is a profitability indicator. There are two tools that can be used to effectively assess, measure, and monitor a company's cash flow. They are the cash flow statement and the cash budget. Both tools are discussed at length in the program. There are two distinct cash flow statements. One is referred to as the direct cash flow statement and the other is referred to as the indirect cash flow statement. Though both statements attempt to measure cash flow, they are constructed very differently. The direct cash flow statement resembles the income statement as it begins with sales and makes appropriate adjustments to reflect the cash impact or effect of different transactions between fiscal dates. The indirect cash flow statement, on the other hand, begins with net profit after tax and then makes appropriate adjustments to reflect 
the flow of funds stemming from various transactions between fiscal dates. The direct cash flow statement is recommended when analyzing SME and commercial companies because the, st the statement provides more granular information regarding the company's cash position at different points in time during a company's operations. In addition, the direct cash flow statement highlights at what point in the operation the company goes cash flow negative. During the course, we explore the benefits of the direct cash flow statement, which highlights how a company generates cash, how a company uses cash, and how much cash a company generates from its core business. Cash generated from a company's core business is extremely important because it excludes unusual items which cannot be relied upon or are not expected to occur in the future. Thus, cash generated internally or from the company's core operation represents cash flow that can be relied upon in the future. The direct cash flow statement highlights additional information important to lenders, including a company's ability to pay financing costs, a company's ability to pay maturing debt, a company's borrowing requirement, the financing used by a company, and the appropriateness of the financing used by the company. The direct cash flow statement considers net cash after operations to be the cash generated from a company's core business since it reflects the cash a company generates from its operations and it excludes unusual items that cannot be relied upon in the future. The program explores how the cash budget can be used to estimate the timing of cash inflows and outflows, estimate a company's liquidity position, prepare a company for seasonal cash fluctuations, assess the timing and amount of short-term borrowing needs, prepare companies to take advantage of unexpected quantity discounts offered by suppliers, assess permanent borrowing needs, and assess the impact of capital expenditures and the possible need for short-term bridge financing. As there are different cash flow formats, there are different formats for constructing a cash budget. Notwithstanding the differences, the objectives are the same. That is, assessing the most critical aspect of a company's viability, specifically the company's cash or liquidity position. While smaller businesses may be able to survive for a time without budgeting, Savvy business owners of growing companies realize the importance of managing their company's cash position. The cash budget may be considered the most reliable and effective tool for assessing, monitoring, and controlling a company's cash flow or a company's cash position. The cash budget provides more granularity than the cash flow statement, that is, as the cash flow statement assesses a company's cash position between fiscal dates, the cash budget assesses a company's cash position from one month to the next or possibly from one week to the next.